Hello, everybody. Well, the question has been asked many times, and there's been a lot of proposed answers as to why people are being targeted. Why does this program exist in the first place? Is it just for amusement? Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to answer that in this video. Uh, but for those of you who are still kind of on the fence, thinking uh, we're just a bunch of crazy schizos, this program's not real, there's no such thing as government corruption, the government has nothing to hide, and they would never do anything wrong to their own citizens at the behest of multinational foreign interests, um, you're idiots. So you don't really count intellectually, and honestly, I haven't really heard a decent argument from many of you. Uh, let's just get right down to it, because I hate long intros. The military-industrial complex calls us, and you can look this up in their own white papers, they call us empowered individuals. And I'm reading this right off the RSOF Operating Concept 2022 uh, U.S. Army Special Operations Command. This is the publicized, uh, looking forward, you know, military defense strategy or whatever. <laughs> and they say, one of their main enemies in the future is going to be empowered individuals. People who have influence over their community. Can you believe that? <laughs> uh, your own military that you pay for with your own tax money uh, considers you a threat to national security or, I don't know, maybe your own corrupt groups that run the Pentagon because... You are resistant to the prediction software, the social engineering, the manipulation for their agenda, trying to dumb down the population and plug everyone into a proto-matrix uh, technocratic slave grid that they're obviously setting up. And basically, it's the standalone complex. It's the 100th monkey theory. Uh, just to briefly explain the 100th monkey theory, it's, you know, the observation where you have a population of monkeys scattered around, maybe in some islands, one of them, and they're all eating figs that they, that drop in the sand, and it's destroying their teeth, because they get the sand on it, and, uh, one of them decides to start washing it off, but without communicating this, or physically traveling to another island, all the monkeys in the population in distant islands, several miles away, start washing off their figs, and it's like, how is this happening? No one knows, it's some kind of weird... Uh, symbiotic, I don't know, psychic nature thing. And maybe you don't believe in that, fine. Uh, what the New Agers would call indigo children, one individual that's like the one in a thousand of a flock of birds that starts to fly off and then all the rest of them follow. Um, what they call it, and I'm just looking at this logically, is this is basically the standalone complex or empowered individuals people who have influence over their community which they say have always existed as a minority group but now that we're in an age of globalization and with the advent of the internet the community that an individual has to influence is now global and when you have one Ants standing up to them, you know, they all might stand up, uh, to quote the movie Ants. And basically, they just absolutely cannot, cannot allow that to happen given the agenda that they have, which has completely flies in the face of national domestic security. But anyway, um, so it's like, who's the enemy here? Again, they can't let one single person one single person who they've deemed with their algorithm AI software as being non-compatible with the system they're trying to set up, they can't let one influential so-called powered, empowered individual exist or carry on left up to their own devices because then your ideas, your thought seeds, your just your demeanor it spreads, it becomes contagious, it's your personality, it's something that you're not even aware of completely, but they are because they've been, you know, using the surveillance grid to track everything and how things spread. Kind of like how Amazon can now predict what you're about to order before you even order it. 
so they start shipping it and just based on where your mouse goes over previous you know behavioral algorithms blah 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 they absolutely cannot let a, an empowered individual or a super empowered individual be left unharassed so isn't it quaint that the military and it's the same this is true for basically all NATO countries that is their commission to protect their population is deliberately seeking out and targeting the the most influential and outgoing individuals of their population with literally lethal weaponry but it's done so in a covert way so they don't get sued and you know if, even if they do they'll just say well it's international treaty they said we could we have this paper that said that we could, you know, go around doing all this these torture programs. And we we have a paper that says we can we can test them with chemical, biological agents, radiologicals. So okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> the interesting thing is that as a TI, obviously you've been flagged and targeted because you're what they call an empowered individual. I am asking you to do the one thing they really, really don't want you to do. And that's not necessarily make an, uh, a media operation about the targeting harassment program and government corruption. No, no, no. They're more worried about you making a YouTube channel about a uh, car collection or how to do house repairs or just talking about, you know, regular politics that you know in layman terms because what their information is telling them is that your personality and just shining with your own light in a positive way actually has way more influence and reaches way more people and your underlying sort of vibe of independence and resistance carries with any message that you use so actually try that out the best thing you can do is almost sort of carry on as if you've never been targeted and and that's what they really don't want because the targeting program itself is designed to make you cynical towards your community conversely making your community reject you as a crazy as then you're your influence never gets through. You see that? And then the ripple effects that they're so afraid of never get through. And then they can, you know, carry on with their agenda. <sighs> so, yeah. Use the internet to the, to the fullest and just enjoy life and enjoy fighting the enemy with a smile.